Starting on Last Refuge. Best of three. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Bottom left cheek. Going for the Lich. Interestingly enough. Upper right. Dima Hunter. Well, that's getting better every week. Thanks, Ray. Dice is in the other semifinals. He's either going to be playing Hawk or Mr. Winner. So most likely Hawk versus Dice, which, uh, hey, maybe we actually can catch both semifinals. That would be nice. Cheek. Is this... Is... Is this, uh... Is this... Is he... Is he... Tau... Is... Is Sheik... Are we... Seeing... He's... Lich Tower Rushing? Players forces are Is this a thing? We know the DK Nerubian Tower Rush. We're well aware of this. Is this a this is a thing? Eliad has yet to choose a skill. Double Ancient War coming up for Eliad. He's already got the one, of course. Gonna be spamming archers off of that. Already two Novas straight under the Demon Hunter. Already the Moonwells are drained. Detonates on the Blight, but still there's room. You kind of need to have a perfect detonate, as far as I remember. One ghoul micro away. You might have just going to right-click on that Lich all the live long day. Archer, by the way, did die, I believe, so that means... Galaxians respond. Oh, no, that's from the creeps. So Lich is taking a lot of damage. This ziggurat might come up. Of course, two ancient wars are already up as well. Will Sheik just tech? A player's forces oh, are doesn't quite have a Nova to save the ghoul. One kill away from level three now. Is he a skeleton away? No, not quite. Sheik got a Nova. Whoop! Put the Blaze Call down to regen enough to get one more hit to kill the Diva Hunter to win the game to win the World Series. No, not quite. That's not going to happen. Level 2. And that's that's 1-0. Hey, we might just get to see both semifinals at this rate, guys. I respect it, Cheek. I respect it. I really do. I really do. Unironically, if you're up against a better player, just cheese him. Unironically. But when you see the Dima Hunter, is Frost Armor not better? No, I guess, I mean, Nova, it makes sense. He drained all the Moon Wells. That was lag inspired. Their ping is not bad. Sheik has has 80 ping. Are they using ping equalizer? No, they're not. She has 80 ping. He has 80 ping. The greedy. Thanks for the nine months. He says, thanks for the great content. Thanks for subscribing, dude. Appreciate you. Have fun with your zero ads. The greedy. Your zero ads. Never have to, you know, wake up from your half nap to hit skip ad when you're chilling out. You know what I'm saying? Get to hang out. Listen to me, however peaceful that is. I don't know. Hammerfall, map number two. The other semifinal, Dice vs. Hawk, has just started. So if this is a quick game, even though we would love to have a nice series between these two. If this is a quick game, we'll just jump straight into Dice vs. Hawk, get both semis in the grand final. Let's see. Game two. Tavern hero from the light in the upper left, bottom right, Sheik. Again, ghouls. You still get ads with Prime? Nope. If you're subscribed or have Twitch Turbo, you do not get ads. 
I think you can turn on ads for subscribers. I think that's a thing. But obviously we wouldn't do that. And I think when you have tw Twitch Turbo, uh, Twitch still gives you some revenue from the Twitch Turbo ads that they would have watched. It's similar to when you have YouTube Premium. You get like a you get some cut from YouTube for the people that have premium that watch your videos. You're depriving us of ads? Yes, true I am. So if you're here for ads, don't subscribe. <laughs> you really if what you really want to see is ads. The Death Knight versus I don't know. Xerophon. Thank you for the three months primer. Appreciate you. You get no ads. You get no ads. You get no ads. I don't know what hero is going to be. Fire Lord, maybe? Dark Ranger first? I think he would go Fire Lord before Dark Ranger. Gotta lose subs 101, turn on sub ads. Yeah, it's about the worst decision you can make as a streamer. <laughs> yeah, it is Fire Lord. Okay. And scouts the expansion. Doesn't get hit on the uh, Wisp, so it keeps the Wisp alive. Might be able to get a double Dedo on the Skellies, potentially. And split creeping for Lilith while he harasses. Foils on cooldown. So he gets a perfect detonate on the Blight. And there's no second Blight Skull either, so if he can cancel the Zig... Oh, we might be seeing a quick game too. Oh my god. It's going perfectly for the Lyot so far. He didn't get the cancel on the Ziggurat though. Oh, Acolyte does give level 2 to the Fire Lord. And Tree of Life already coming up for the Lyot, who's crept this perfectly in the meantime. We'll have to go back home soon. Careful. Does get it. Nice done from Sheik. But this did not go swimmingly, you could say. But, I mean, one ghoul died. He did get all the experience from the creeps. He got his Neruvian up uncancelled. That Blight Skull did pay off. He's gonna force Eliot back. He's got another coil to do so. Not perfect, but it's not over, let's say. Lost the tome, GG. Yeah, that tome was the nail in the coffin. Forces are under attack. Has anyone ever GG'd because of a tome? I know tomes of experience, but <laughs> since the tomes of experience were removed, has seat. anyone ever GG'd because of a tome? Like, you lost the tome, and you're like, damn. Or they picked up a tome and saved their hero, and then you're like, damn, I lose. The tome ever cost somebody a game? I wonder. Probably many times. Oh, 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 <laughs> lucky. I don't think he's paying attention. Nice school micro. Doesn't get the tree cancel. Ancient War goes down though. Whoopsie doopsie, Lilayat. Let's do his 50 health. Save many asses. Yeah, that's probably true. That's why you've been. Thousands and thousands of games saved by a tome, either picked up or forgotten. Millions of games, I would even say. Or, you know, Tome of Intelligence gives you that coil or doesn't give you that coil. Tome of Agility would be the least likely to cost somebody a game or win somebody a game. One archer dead to the coil. And it seems like she didn't commit to the expansion. Probably won't die, actually. Oh, more hit. Vision. Eliot messes up his movement a little bit there. 
There's a wind coming up. All right. He nicely goes all the way around, realizing the gold mine timing, and just any amount he can delay this gold mine for is good. He can cancel it once, cancel it twice. Bring back the shop where you can buy tomes. Was that a thing in melee? In like Reign of Chaos or something? Could you buy tomes? That would be so sick. I would love to see one, just test out one map where you can buy a tome for like, I don't know. 300 gold. <laughs> Just one map where you see that. Test it out. Polyat with the wisps around. Oh, DK coils his way out. <laughs> and Lyot just lost a lot of lumber doing that and doesn't get the kill. <laughs> a player's forces are under I'm trying to style on Sheik, all right. Eliot, I swear, is the only player that goes for those big wisp poles to try to block units. There's the Shredder. And Fairy Dragons. Coming out. Expansion coming out for Sheik, though. And Gargs. Preemptive Gargs. Well, at least Preemptive Garg. Where's the second crypt? Oh, there it is. Yeah. The Sheik has got to be well prepared for these Fairy Dragons. Are I say we let him cook, guys. What do you think? Town is under siege. Okay, a little light finding a nice timing. Similar to the gold mine cancel that Sheik was looking for. This is a even a better timing from the light is right before it's saturated. Those a couple of acolytes. Oh, careful, that is a DK3. Doesn't have a coil currently, but... Oh, actually, the Naga is going to die? Denied. Gargs, though, winning the air fight. Quadruple lava spawn. He trying to save his guards. Does save both. Nicely done. Not this one though. Still alive. Continuing to not allow the expansion to be fully saturated. Cannon user, what's up, dude? Thanks for the six months. Well, the light might be forced to town portal. He's like three auto attacks away. He can coil that Garg. He does. And the light, is he really committing to fairy dragons? I think he's got to transition out of this because I don't care how well you're harassing the expo. Eventually, Gargs are just going to destroy fairy dragons. Especially when you're panda -less. He's going for a Hunter's Hall now. Honestly, is that too late, though? <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, he's done pretty good damage. He's continuing to do pretty good damage to the expansion. We'd love to see a second hero from Sheik, though. Soon. Obviously, against Fairy Dragons, having a Lich isn't too important, but having a nice Orb Carrier would be nice once he is Tier 3. He is not yet. I mean, the Lion's not going to be able to win a fight for a while. Difference gold mine from both Expos. Good point. 8,300. So a difference of about 1,000. Which the Lion did have his expansion up much earlier than Sheik. This harass probably cost him, not including the Acolyte cost, 500 gold mine. Maybe. Maybe 400. But obviously, the Acolyte's rebuilding those is costly. Fire on the Death Knight. Careful. Would like to see a shop here, actually. Or a Sheik. Staff? Doesn't staff. Or pass the potion. Or anything. Level 4. 
And the Kargs are owning the Fairy Dragons. As I said, the Lion's not going to be able to win a fight. <laughs> Regardless of the Naga loss, which is a little sloppy, the Gargs are owning the Fairy Dragons. Level 5 DK. Level 5.4 DK. Oh, now he goes for a Panda 3rd. Coil level 3! Okay, st passes the staff. Jesus. Gargs are than fairies? Who knew? Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, every fairy dragon's dead. But we are obviously going to see a lore transition. Where the hell... Lolayan, I think, doesn't have tech buildings. He doesn't have really resources. I don't know how Lolayan wins this game. Sheik isn't tier 3, though. That is one thing going the Lolayan's way. He's building another tree of life. He's such a madman. Okay, now the Lich is coming out, and level 3 Coil with Nova is going to destroy this Fire Lord. Still the economic advantage for the Lyot, though. Still. Don't know what these creeps are doing. Oh, they're chasing a fairy. Pretty much just a Fire Lord right now, and it's kind of winning. The Lich is here, and Mana Pot swapped. We have Coil and Nova. He's going to try to force the TP and then probably nuke the Panda. Oh, never mind. Doesn't need to force the TP. And this is going to be a TP force. There we go. And now the lures are coming up. Oh, no, he can't. Cancels and goes a third inch in a win. That's good. I'm going hippogriffs. All right, Sheik might be tying this up. I don't know where it went wrong. I guess it was literally just a, well, a couple of sloppy hero losses, notably the Naga initially. Um, or no, it was the Fire Lord initially, right? But also just mass fairy dragons versus guards. Not a very good strategy. Makes you wonder how mass fairy dragons ever worked. Just go guards forehead. Well, the lion is a master at these sort of uh sneaky exchanges where he can get a couple units and get value and get out. He's really, really good at that, but aura level 3 now to chase down these fairy dragons. Or to chase down the hippogriffs currently. Okay, that's all the air yet again dead. But you can't really do much. Once all the air is dead in Sheik's position, what are you going to do? Kill a hero? Not likely near Moonwell, so you're only going to take losses. So he's got to just continuously kill the air and get out without taking... Too many losses in the guard department. The town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, well, one guard should die. Maybe even two. Oh, nice minimal usage. See, that's what I mean. Gets one guard, doesn't lose anything. Goliath's really good at these sorts of plays. I would happy to in this, this situation more guards. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Heal scroll use. Oh. The player's forces are under attack. He, he could coil one hippogriff potentially. Staff and the fire lord back. Well, three Lich already. DK uses the heal scroll. No TP, obviously, for Sheik, so he's got to be careful. Again, all the air units traded out. But now the Gargs can't do anything again. Lich! Coil it! Okay, he's good. Run away. Aura level three. Get out of there.
She could a thousand gold a lot nearly at that. Getting plus two attack and more and more hippogriffs. A player's and it has enough attack. creeps to easily get three if he backs away now. All the heroes still have uh, room to grow for Laliat. He finally almost tier three. That'll mean stone form. That'll mean frenzy. That'll mean orb. Probably not a third hero. Maybe a third hero. Chance he doesn't take death pack on level seven. Yeah, I don't think the ultimate's gonna have much value to Sheik this game. Probably even go death pack level two on level eight. Light's still not gonna be able to win a fight yet. But once he gets 5 3 3, which is really close, it's a couple of creep camps away. There's one level 3. It's gonna be a different game once those heroes reach that level. Still no level 3 Panda, still no level 5 Fire Lord. Nova lands. Heal scroll use, protection scroll use. That was, I think, two Gargs and two Hippogriffs dying. Lolite's still at a supply advantage, though. He can't ever fight. If he gets Nova again, he's going to lose like 10 Hippogriffs, so he's got to be careful. The lumber's not great. What is this ghoul count? Two. Two lumber ghouls. That ain't enough. Well, it might be enough to continue guard production. Forces are under attack. He did just get stone form as well. There's the Nova. That was two for zero, but the breath might make a difference. Heal scroll? Didn't use the heal scroll. Could have saved, I think, that one guard that died and gave Panda three there. Another heal scroll there. She has lots of gold for these. I love close to getting five. I do think having seen some more nukes on the heroes could be warranted. Oh, this is an annoying creep to have attacking you. Why don't retrain to Soulburn? It wouldn't be a terrible choice. Now he's building one more ghoul. Ever there. Nice heal school there from Sheik. Eliot winning the air fight all of a sudden. Sheik miss micro that for sure. Didn't he have enough gargs to win? I don't know why he stone formed half the army. I guess it was because of Haze. But 2-0, regardless for the lot, he does win. Sheik leaves with 1,800 gold. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, 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 but enough.